bolt in a microwave oven has a moment of inertia of 0.039 kilograms times meter squared and is rotating once every 4.4 seconds, what is its kinetic energy? We know, of course, because we've talked about it several times, that kinetic energy is equal to one half times the mass times the velocity squared of an object. But they don't really give us any of that, right? And it's because the kinetic energy that this equation gives us is linear, but we are dealing with a um, angular motion here. So we need to use the equation kinetic energy is equal to one half, and the angular equivalent of mass is I, which they give us times the equivalent of velocity for angular motion is omega squared. Okay, so they give us I, so we should just plug it in, right? But it doesn't seem like they give us enough information, so what do we do? Because all they tell us is it rotates. Here's our microwave oven in the turntable in it, and it rotates once every 4.4 seconds. So how is that enough information to even get alpha, uh, omega at all? That doesn't make sense, right? But if you think about it, what they're saying is one revolution is 4.4 seconds. So now it's pretty easy for us to convert it to radians per second. So one revolution is two pi radians. So now revolutions cancel and we have radians over seconds. So if we have parentheses two, whoops, two pi divided by 4.4. Did I do that right? 2 pi divided by 4.4. Oh, oops, I times it. Okay. All right, so that gives us 1.428 radians per second. I ended up with like 27 something, but I just realized I did 2 pi times 4.4 instead of 2 pi divided by 4.4. Okay, but you guys don't care about that. So now we have everything, and let's just plug it in. So the kinetic energy is equal to one half the moment of inertia, which they tell us is 0 0.039. 0 0.039 times our omega, which we just figured out is 1.428 radians per second squared. So we take 0.5 times 0 0.039 times 1.428 squared and that gives us that gives us 0 0.0398 and it's kinetic energy so it is joules so if you plug this into mastering physics, that would tell you it's correct, but they did the significant figure, figures differently. So what they did is they did standard notation. So we did 4.0 times 10 to the negative two joules.